According to you, I'm stupid. Hello everyone, it's Vivian here and I hope you're all doing okay. And in this video I'm going to show you how I make my own facial mask slash facial scrub. And just the other day I went to my local booth and I was just um, having a look around and I didn't realise how many facial scrub and how many face masks there is available for all different skin types and for this and that. And you know, it could be quite confusing, but thankfully for me, um, I make my own um, face, um, face scrub because I think in taking care of your skin, you know your skin best, so you know exactly what it needs. And also, if you make your own, you know exactly what goes into that mixture that you're putting on your face that is being absorbed by your skin and into your system. So I think um, the best way to do it is um, just uh, make your own face scrub because it's so easy. And um, in fact, you can also store it in little like jam jars and you can get some in Holland and Barrett. But um, personally, I don't like keeping it in jars because I, you know, I like to, um, I like to use it kind of fresh, you know, as soon as I make it, I want to use it straight away, and if I have anything left over, I just use it as a body scrub, so nothing ever gets wasted if I, because sometimes I do tend to make a little bit more than my face needs, but it's fine because I just take it to the shower with me, and I use it um, all over my body, so. Um, so for this face mask, I am going to, you are going to need um, half an avocado. It has to be a really, really ripe avocado, like super soft. Um, that way you get all the juices from it easily when you mash it with the, the back of a fork. And also, um, you want a really good raw honey, and my suggestion would be any manuka honey, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, yeah, so this manuka, manuka, it's getting worse, isn't it? Yeah, any manuka honey that you can find, um, personally, I like to use anything 15 plus. Um, at the moment, I'm using this 24 plus, so I think the higher the number is, the higher the antibacterial um, content is. But anyway, I find that the higher the number is, the thicker the, oh, it's, I haven't even used it, I haven't even opened it. So the thicker it is. So as you can see, this is very, very, very thick. Um, like I said in my previous video, I wouldn't suggest this for eating. But it's great for um, scrubs and also if you have like a, like a tickly cough, like a really annoying sticky cough, then a teaspoonful of honey really makes a difference. It's not just the nose rewind, it really does um, soothe your throat and stops you from coughing. Okay, so also, so that's the basic. You need a half of half of a very ripe avocado and a tablespoon of honey. Okay, so the variation will be if you have oily skin, you'd want half a lemon and if you have um, kind of a, a dry skin you want some um, natural yogurt just to kind of you know hydrate skin and also if you're using any oil I don't have it at the moment here but sometimes when I find my skin is exceptionally dry I would put some rosehip oil in my scrub um, okay so I'm going to make the facial mask first and then I'm going to show you how to turn your mask into a scrub. This always happens. Anyway, so I'm going to do the face mask first with our basic ingredients here. Th these two are all you need. So I'm just gonna, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to adjust the camera. Okay, so you want to chop your avocado in half. And you want to scoop out the flesh. Like so. And then you just smash it with the back of a And 
then you want a tablespoon of honey. So this is the manacle honey. This is the 24 plus if you can see how thick it is. So this is just a teaspoon I have but you want a tablespoon of that. So this is just your basic so you basic can use mask. that um, like on your face. You just apply it like this on your face, and then you leave it for ten minutes. Maybe have a soak in the bath. So it's really really nice and cooling. So if you want to turn this into a scrub. into a scrub you either add some sugar or you can also add um, oats depending on um, uh, your skin type. I would say if you don't have sensitive skin then go with um, sugar but if you have a really sensitive skin then I would go for oats. But personally because I'm trying to keep my hair at bay I would use a tablespoon of sugar. Actually, I'm going to use two tablespoons of sugar for this. Oops. So this turns your mask into a scrub. Just mix it all together. So that's your scrub. Now if you have slightly oily or problematic skin then you'd want lemon, a bit of lemon in your scrub. And the good thing about using lemon is it's, it kind of it helps even out your skin tone because um, lemon has um, a natural lightening property that helps lighten your skin. Just mix that all together. So like I said, if you have them jam jars, you can use them and this will keep for a week. But personally, I, um, I like to use it fresh, so I use um, as much as I need on my face and then the rest of it I use for my body. So that's it. So that is your scrub.